really wish I could sing. Do you know, I really liked the song. I enjoyed that song by the choir, the choir all night. You know, it was so mind-blowing, spirit-filling. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's part of the advantages of coming home to spend Christmas. Yeah, you can say that it's again. It's a special time, you know, a mm -hmm. special season of the year. And you, you don't just have the opportunity of enjoying such beautiful heavenly music. Yeah. You also have the opportunity of watching some beautiful dances, masquerades. Beautiful people. That reminds me, honey. Do you know, I was so scared when I saw that big masquerade there chasing that woman like that. Hey! Well, there's, there's really nothing to be scared about, you know. The masquerade was trying to create fun. How? <laughs> By scaring the woman. <laughs> he was only begging for money. Hey! <laughs> when the poor woman had no money to give him, what could she do? She just had to run. Did you see the way that woman was running? Oh, running God. for dear life. For her dear life. <laughs> well, yeah, that's part of the fun, you know. And eventually, when the mask were they removed the mask, uh -huh. people started laughing. Why? And the boy joined them too. You know, that boy is the woman's son. You're not serious. <laughs> hey! Do you know, that woman was just running as if all her life depended on that one. She had to, she knew he, she either runs and leaves or she stops running and the boy life. was The boy was actually having a swell time of his life. You know, when people started laughing, yeah. the boy joined them and laughed at his own mother. <laughs> that is madness. But what would the boy have done? Man? He just had to, the fun must continue. Honey, why is it that these masqueraders, they never chase the men? They're always chasing the women. Right. Or anytime you see them, they're chasing after one woman or the other. It's not fair, you know. And there is nothing unfair about that. You see, it's just part of the fun. Chasing women creates fun. You know, so you don't imagine any man running away from a masquerade. It creates excitement when women are running away from masquerade. By excitement? Uh huh. Oh. So, women are now the weakling, right? I do, you didn't know say what that. I do. I didn't say that. do you know what I'll do? Do you know what I'll do? Next time any of those masquerades come anywhere close to me, I will stand there, watch them, look at the masquerade. The masquerade will look at me. I will look at the mask. But for me to run, hey, like, like, I will never run, run, run from them again. I can't wait for that day. Let me see how long you stand looking at the masquerade eyeball to eyeball <laughs> before you run, stumble, and fall. <laughs> God, you're crazy. What are you saying? I can't stand the masquerade. Joy! 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 Mama, what's the problem? Why are you, why are you screaming? Will you go straight to the kitchen and do your friend? Mama, if you want Joy to help you in the kitchen, why don't you just say so? You, you don't have to shout. Biachike, when did kitchen matter become the concern of the men? When? Joy is my wife, one. Two, we're here to spend quality time during this period, Christmas period for that matter. We're just here sharing jokes, right? Before you started screaming. You were here laughing while you kept a pot of soup on fire. Oh, God. Mama, you know, I, I, I forgot. Oh, God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. I forgot. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Let me just quickly make something for you and Papa today. It's all right. It's okay? It's okay. Mama, is it now? I said I'm sorry. I'm let you inside. Mama, I take it easy now. I said I'm sorry. Uh -uh. <laughs> Mama, you hold me. Come and hold me. I shall leave me. Let's go and cook. Take it easy now. Cool down. <laughs> Mama. Oh. Uh -uh. The soup is not yet boiled now. I know you said that. Instead of doing something to help yourself. You go and be gossiping with Chike, leaving the whole housework for your slaves. Mama, I was only just staying with my husband. Besides, I was still timing the food. Joy, it appears that laziness runs in your veins. Eh? You cannot sit in a place and warm a pot of soup. You just go out and be chatting with Ch Chike. Then when I talk, you tell me you are timing the soup. Madam Timer, where is your clock? <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry. Just, just look at it. The food a married woman prepared for visitors that will want to share Christmas with us. Mm -hmm. The food is soft and it's 
Tastes really nice. Hmm? Hmm. So this is the kind of food you prepare for my son? Okay, how? And he likes it, he doesn't complain. Complain? You expect him to complain? He cannot complain. You want him to complain so that you make life unbearable for him? He will not complain. Joy, I'm doing my best to just be careful. Married woman, be careful. Mama, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, my dear. You know, your mother never ceases to amaze me. How? Look at the way she was staring at us. Oh, that. Well, she was obviously admiring our outfit. This is beautiful. Why won't I look at you? Are you Queen Elizabeth? Mama, my wife Joy is prettier than that, your Queen of England. Okay? She's far more pretty. Anyway, we want to go and see some of our friends who are back home for Christmas. We'll be back soon. Yeah, chicken. Yeah, come. Must you always carry this your wife about everywhere, like Whitlow? How? Don't you think you're overdoing things? How am I overdoing things? She's my wife. Honey, I think Mama is right. Okay, let me just um, stay back while you go alone. No! I want you by my side, okay? You're my wife. But I don't know. I just want to stay back, you know. Go, go alone. Let me stay back so I could help Mama serve the visitors. Help Mama? Help Mama serve the visitor. visitors. Help Mama. Help Mama. Which food are you going to serve visitors? The one you know how to cook or not? Eh? Mama, I think Joy is a fantastic cook. It's just that you haven't allowed her to prepare any of her specialties. Mm -hmm. I even believe that she's a better cook than anybody else I've come across. Mm -hmm. Yes. My dear, please. Wait for me in the car. I'll be with you, okay? Madam Cook. Mama. Joy may be quiet and humble, but she's not a coward. She's only tolerating your excesses because of the respect she has for me. I have heard that before. Just go, 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 go. Go with your shadow and leave me alone. Point of correction. She's not my shadow. She's my better half. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the earlier you start treating her good, then you will enjoy her more as a daughter-in-law. We'll soon be back. If you like, come back tomorrow. That is your business. It's Christmas holiday, so we intend to enjoy ourselves, have a good time, meet with good friends. Huh? So anytime you see us, you take us. What is it? Daddy, go and pack your bicycle and come. Daddy, pack it there now. <laughs> what happened? Why are you shouting? Why won't I shout? Eh? Something terrible happened here today. Something very bad happened. Do you know that Joy will soon leave my son Chiki and go back to her father's house? Who said so? I said so. I said it. Since my son married her, he has ceased to respect me. He no longer buys those small, small gifts he used to give to me. That girl has succeeded in confusing my son. How? Ugochi, I have warned you before. Hmm? Stop 
this your attitude of shouting over nothing in my house. Leave our daughter-in-law alone. That girl is too good to merit your disturbance. What else will you say? What do you even know? Look, if I know nothing, I know that you are still my wife. And that nobody can stay at peace with you. Because all you know is to ferment trouble. Look, I haven't even opened my mouth to say anything. Yet you have taken sides with joy. What have I done to you, Simon? That you'll always take side with my opponent in every matter. You have never supported me in anything. What have I done to you? What you have done is that you did not even let me come into the house before you confronted me with a Joyce, uh, Joyce problem. Ah. That you were where is chicken? He has gone out. To where? <laughs> Since you have refused to listen to me, I will leave you to rest. Go and have your rest as long as you want. You can even eat after resting. That is the only thing you know, nothing more. Sleep and rest. Ugochi! Ugochi! This is festive period and everybody is trying to be happy. We should be glad that these children, Chike and the wife, are here with us. Why don't you just have some patience? They will soon be gone back to their, to their station. Is that so? I do. I don't have a choice. Please try to live in peace with your wife when you get back. I hope you people will come back next Christmas to stay with us here. Yes, Mama, we'll certainly come by God's grace. And um, thank you for the advice. We will always live in peace. My son, I know it is not easy living with a woman. Only God knows how I've managed to survive living with your mother. You mean how I have tried to tolerate you all this way? <laughs> Papa! Papa, we are not difficult people. <laughs> and besides, Mama here is a very nice woman. And I have learnt a lot from her. Mama, she am right. Uh, I, say so. <laughs> I say so. Papa, this is for you. Ah, thank you, my I hope this one will take you uh, as far as... Uh, before I get another, I send you another one. Yeah. Yes. Well, Mama, have this. Manage it. I'll still send you more money. It's only 10,000. <laughs> Thank you very much, my son. Please drive carefully. I will. Mama, I will miss you. Please take care of Take care of my son for me. I will, I will. <laughs> I was expecting you would say no when Chike gave you that money before they left for Enugu. Meaning? Meaning that the madness you accuse him of will soon infect you if you use his money. Please, I am eating now. Wise people don't talk why they eat. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. I know he would have given you almost all the money he came back with. Tomorrow, all this stuff in the market will finish. I'm better than Ikechuku uh, Boma. 
who falls in the market in pretense of epilepsy until people contribute money to, for him. Uh, but my son gives me my own money. So if I like, I can proceed to the market and buy all of this love. Does Okechuku Boma really fall in pretence? I have not said so. Then what did you just say? You want to go to the village square tomorrow and open your mouth. Then before evening, the whole village would have heard that Simon said Okechuku is suffering from epilepsy or romanticism. Please, woman, don't destroy me with your mouth in this neighborhood. I never knew when I became a village gossip. You will never know. Just keep quiet and eat your food. What did you just say about your critical bone? Wise people don't talk while they eat. I heard what you have said. But like I told you, I left the village about two months ago. Ugochuku's wife was having problems with her maid, so I traveled down to Benin to see them. Uh, how is uh, Ikedi's her baby? Ikedi's baby is fine. Ikedi and the family are fine. They came to visit us at Benin last weekend. <laughs> you need to see their first son, Telechi. The boy is growing each day like yam tendry. <laughs> I will visit Ikedi as soon as I'm through with the construction work at the site. Yeah, I thought you said you were on leave. Casual leave. Five days. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. This time forget. Ugochuku asked if you have finally decided to settle down. And what did you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. I said I'd ask you. Well, I found the girl I would want to marry. Yeah. Her name is Amara, a university undergraduate. Yeah. Is she from Umucheze? Ah, no, 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 Mama. She's from our neighboring village. Yeah. You better hurry up, my son. You know, age is no longer your fight. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh, mama. I am back, Austin. This must be your mother. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Austin, you didn't tell me you have a housemaid. No, Mama. She's not a maid. She's not a housemaid. Who is she? Amara, your fiance. No, Mama. Austin, I couldn't get your favorite fruit juice from the supermarket, so I bought another type. I hope that one is good. Sure. Have you had a meal? Mama, please exercise some patience while I'll get your food ready. What is happening here? Austin, what is happening here? Who was that girl? Who was that girl, Austin? Austin, so this is what you are doing in Enugu here? Eh? Looking for little girls to abuse. Austin, who taught you this? Who? Austin, where are your morals? Where are your manners? Hey, you kill me, Mama. It's not what you think. She's just a girl I'm helping out with her jam blessing. She does not sleep here. She's not my girlfriend. If you like, be helping her with our yak lessons. All I ask is for this girl to leave this house. Get minutes. What is better? So you want to sleep with a girl in front of me? Austin, your food is ready, and I'm leaving. Mama, enjoy your stay in Hey. Mama, must you embarrass me? Eh? I am sure that girl Cynthia must have heard all you said. She is not my girlfriend. She is not. If she is not your guest girlfriend, Austin, I'm sorry. I thought she is one of those tiny gold diggers. Anyway, if you are looking for a cook, I'll ask my older sister, Sister Philo, to come and stay with you. She's a widow, and I'm sure she'll gladly want to come and stay with you. Sister Philo? Yes. 
Oh, Mama, I don't want that old hag in my house. Austin, how dare you call my older sister old hag? How dare you? Your brothers and father must hear this. Ah! Yeah, Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that uh, I... Oh, Amara, my baby. How are you? Oh, please, meet my mother. Mama, Amara. Hmm. <laughs> She's very beautiful. She is. Come and sit beside me. <laughs> hey, come and sit beside me, my mama. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you, man. Hey, hey. Austin. Mama. Hey, now you're talking. <laughs> Is there anybody here? Oh, Jelly Wang, are you here? Yeah. Good. You are seeing me. <laughs> You're welcome. And what is she doing? She's getting ready to go and visit her daughter in. Ha uh ha. -huh. Is that why you are packing all these things? Are you starting a new food condiment business for her? No. That is how I surprise her each time I go to visit her. Mm -hmm. I hope your own daughter in law is not like my own. Who does nothing well apart from provoking me to anger? That's your good daughter-in-law. Eh. Oh, Jelly. Biko, let's forget about that one now. Where is Wong, your husband? Wong. Wong has gone to the market where, where he used to drink his uh, kai kai. No? <laughs> 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 hey. Men and their queer character. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I actually came to find out if um, you have heard what people are saying about your husband and uh, Jibiri's daughter. Gucci, please. I don't have time for gossip now. You can see I'm busy. Which one is gossip? <clears throat> huh? Oh, Jelly. Hmm? One thing I hate about you is that you don't take challenging matters serious. One of these days, this small, small girl will snatch Wangu from you. Oh. You have to do something about it, too. Gucci, Wangu is my husband. He has every right to do whatever he wants to do with his body. That is his business. Is that all you have to say? What else do you want me to see? Wangu is my husband. He has every right to do whatever he wants to do with his body. If he dies in it, nobody will go to the grave with him. Hmm. Ojele, hmm? you talk as if Wangu is not the father of your son. No, Wangu is my husband, you know it. And uh, Felix is our son. If I were you, I would do something about it. Oh. Okay. Maybe when I come back, I will do something. Thank you for your information, my dear. <laughs> Hey, now you are talking. <laughs> I was beginning to think I have offended you. No, my dear, you do not. It's just that at times we should allow our men to take to do whatever they want to do in their own way. If the actions turn against them, we the wives will laugh the last. Oh, the man. <laughs> I can see you are set to go. Mm, I am. I will escort you to the park. No, I will still wait for one to come back. Um, mm. Okay, in that case, I have to take my leave. My dear. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. Hey, thank you. Meanwhile, you know you get there. No, I will do that. Okay, okay. so I'll just run out of the house. Oh, my dear, I will know. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Your mother left. What do you want, Cynthia? What's the why are you behaving like this? You know, I couldn't stay to listen to what Mama was saying. You still have not told me why you decided to come back. It's because I love you. Let me continue to take good care of you. Cynthia, how old are you? I'm 16. And what about that? Or have I disappointed you in any way? Cynthia, 
I want you to leave now. This relationship is over. I'm as good as married. And my fiancé will not be happy to see you here. Please, leave! I thought as much. I knew they would be thrown out one day. Well, Austin, I need money for my job. Sorry, Cynthia, I don't have any money on me now. I am not going anywhere till you give me the money. Sorry, I think I have some money. How much is it? 5,000 naira. 5,000. Please. Keep going with that. Thank you. What? Hey! Oh, Sarah! Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! 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 God, I'm so sorry. The other time you came to the village, uh, Papa said you went to collect your uh, statement of results, oh, right? Yes. So That's tell me, fantastic. how was it? It was fantastic. That's my girl. <laughs> okay, just um, make yourself comfortable while I quickly go up to call your brother. Alright. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's my brother's wife. And that lady. She's smart and lively. I think I am beginning to like her. Everybody likes Joe. But I'm her favorite. Mm, yeah. Mommy's child. You can say that again. <laughs> well, well, well. Who do we oh, have here? Oh, brother. Oh, my God. <laughs> I miss you, brother. Oh, my. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing, young man? I'm fine with you. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, brother. It's good you're here. So, how are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. But I miss you. Well, thank God you're here. Joy. Mm -hmm. We have visitors. Oh, visitors. brother, no visitors as such. Mm. <laughs> Austin here is my fiancé. Oh. He's a native of Kumucheze. Austin is my elder brother, Chiki, and his wife, Jai. It's my pleasure, sir. Yeah, uh, Austin, yeah. you're welcome. Thank you very much. Oh, too. <laughs> well, but actually, oh. I, I fully understand what you've just told me. What you've told us. Yeah. <laughs> but I've really taken our time to go to the village and inform Papa and Mama about this uh, development. Yes, we were there last week. Oh, you were? It yeah. was Papa who gave us the address of a new place. You don't even have my address. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Austin, what do you do for a living? I am a civil engineer. And I work with one of the construction companies here in Enugu. Oh, right here? Yeah. That's wonderful. I must tell you something. Amarachi is our special baby. A baby of the family. Brother, <laughs> Austin is a nice person and we love her sex. His mother is a very good woman, very nice. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks. Feel free. Please feel free. Mm -hmm. So, Joy, what do you have for us? Well, food is ready. Oh, food is ready. Wow. Can we go to the I think uh, that can wait. Uh, Trasekul is very far from here. Don't mind him, brother. I'm hungry. That's <laughs> fine. You are just not mind him. Let him stay. Oh, Carry you back. Oh. <laughs> hey, 
Oh, my, how is, uh, how is your friend? Which of them? What's her name? Um, the one that talks to me. The one that talks to me. <laughs> Ugochi. Ugochi. <laughs> Ugochi. She, she's there running her usual commentary. Though nobody takes her serious. <laughs> mama, mama, let's go inside. Oh, oh, my, oh, my dear. Hey. Grace, what's that one? Chine, okay, this girl have killed. Mama, I was about dropping it. I don't know when it fell off. She put away the oil that I bought for you. Oh, it's okay, it's Mama. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry, Mama. Mama, the Mama. <laughs> My child. Mama, you're looking fresh every day. Yeah, I know. I'm very happy, Mama. Child, look at me. I pray that God will keep you for me. He will, and you too. Hey, God, look at me. Enjoying since I came. I don't even want to go. <laughs> Mama, why won't you enjoy? Tell me, why won't you enjoy? Have you forgotten how much you suffered for me? Hey. Jesus. Oh, have you forgotten how much you suffered for me? <laughs> Short, I'm happy. I'm happy. God, thank you so much. Uh, my son, as I said before, you see, the earlier you come into this matter, the better for all of us. Your father does not seem to be moving fast about this land dispute of event. Mama, you've started again. You've started again. You've started. You know, I hate hearing about land and its disputes. But this is a special case. It is a special case. Pico. Pico. Mama. Land dispute has sent a lot of people to their untimely graves. God forbid that. I and your father will never die over what belongs to us. We will not. Tell Papa to forget about that issue. Mm. I will purchase him a bigger piece of land. Mm. He may agree. But I need you to come to the village. To talk this over with him. You, you know I can't come to the village now. I can't leave Kate. Her condition, her pregnancy has gone far. I know. Take it easy with her. How I wish I could stay longer. But you know your father now. He would not be happy with me because I've overstayed. Mama, don't worry. <laughs> Mama, don't worry. Oh, we are going to manage. Please do. You go. Will. We are going to miss you. <laughs> My daughter, you are carrying this pregnancy as if it is a punishment. It is not. It's a blessing from God. All you need to do is to trick than uh, staying around your husband all the time. Ah, Mama. Mm -hmm. Why do I have to trek when I'm used to driving? You have to trek. Because by so doing it will help you and the baby. You see? Than staying around your husband all the time. <laughs> Mama, is there anything bad in staying with Felix? No. Moreover, anytime I stay with him, I forget I'm pregnant. Are you telling me that two of you still sleep together? Well, sometimes we do, Mama. Under this condition. Mama, I manage you. I manage, and Felix is not complaining. In fact, he helps. He helps me. These children, you people cannot learn. <laughs> How can you be sleeping with your husband under this condition? Mama, you worry too much. <laughs> mama, the mama. Hi, honey. <laughs> Yeah, sweetheart. How are you? Fine. Mama is really taking good care of me. Mm, I can see you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> I'm enjoying Your wife uh, should be exercising her body. By so doing, the swelling will go down. Mm, all right, sweetheart. You've had mama. So what kind of exercise would you like to be doing? Mm, the one we're already used to. <laughs> Which type? Mama, don't mind case. She's just pulling your legs. <laughs> Stop massaging her, she's not a baby. She is my baby, oh. Your own will soon arrive. Oh. Kate is now your baby. Mm -hmm. So what am I? Stop behaving like a spoiled child. Don't worry, Mama will soon go. We know who will be doing all this for you. You will do it, oh. If not, I will come back here, collect, take her to the village until she puts to bed. No Very way. Good. So, um, are you going to the village with Mama? <laughs> Son of Wang, who invited you? Wife of Wang will stop spoiling my wife. <laughs> That's how she'll be lazy any time you come here. Are you jealous? I can see he is. Uh, okay, okay, if I'm jealous, let me leave you too. <laughs> Bye. 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 Mama. <laughs> Take care of yourself. All right. Bye-bye. Wangu, wangu. I am back. 
you should have spent three more months there. Yes! Each time you go there, you relax and forget that you have a responsibility here. Go back and spend more time if you like. Go back! What is wrong in my going to see my daughter-in-law who is pregnant? Her first pregnancy. Just look at your mouth. Her first pregnancy. Women go for Omogwa when there is a child delivery. But in your own case, you would like to go there when the pregnancy is not even up to eight months. Yeah. Come. Does that make you a responsible woman? Going there every time, does it not portray you as an idle fellow? Because one will happen more. Leave me alone. Hey, I should leave you alone. Yes, leave me. Adam, it is this your attitude that is making our son's wife lazy and arrogant. Jimmy. Yes. Mama, let it not be said that you hate your daughter-in-law. Your own son's wife. Get out. Get out. Go ahead and infest her with your agu. Thank you very much. But there is nothing like Agu in your family. There's no Agu in my family, and you know that. Yeah. Oh, Biko, leave me alone. Leave me. Leave I will me. not. I will not. You went to see that difficult daughter-in-law of yours so that you can feel fine and dress well, eh? Just look at you. Wow. Are you jealous? What is wrong in my dressing fine? Look at your stomach. Look at it. It is as big as a Magellan tire. But don't worry. By the time you would have spent one week here, that your stomach will become as flat as a pancake. You will see it. Wow, I can see you will never change. You will never, never change. What are you doing here? What are you people doing on this land? Uh, hey, Anesi, I know you are the architect of this trouble. But I tell you something. There's no amount of pressure that would make me to leave this portion of land for you people. No way! No way! Nobody is begging you to leave the land. Cultivate here! Cultivate here! But whatever you see, you take. Whatever I see, you take. <laughs> what will I see? What will I see and what have I not seen? Tell me! It is this one. I say it is this one! That will be the end of your trouble. Mwangu, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Ezekiel, you! You point fingers at me and ask who I am? Yes! Well, I am Mwangu. And I don't live in fear. If you try to swim in me like a river, you will drown to death. Don't worry. Wangu is not alone. Soon, Anes, and very, very soon, Ezekiel, I will sting you like a scorpion and bite you like a bat. And I will laugh at you with the face of a baby. <laughs> and don't forget, that Wangu is never a door. Don't forget that. Any day you use your hoe on this land, yeah. you will know whether we are alone. You will know whether we are alone. Yes. For your information, my laborers are coming here tomorrow to work. Any of you who dares to come very close to them will see the true color of a raging fire. I am warning you. I am warning you. <laughs> I am warning you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we even challenge him? Why won't we challenge him? Why won't we challenge him? I think his ago has started feeding on him again. Ezekiel, don't be deceived by one. It's only back in. Eh? There's nothing like that. No ago is feeding on him. Are you sure, Anezi? What's it tomorrow? Come here and see if one will be here. Wait it more and see if he will come here. Eh? I beg.
everybody? How is Papa? He's fine. They all send their greetings. Okay, thank <laughs> you. I was just about going to the market before I saw you. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go inside. Ah. Can you drive? <laughs> yeah. You mean you can drive this big car? <laughs> Mama, I can drive this car as well as every other car on this compound. Come, let's go in. Let's go in. I hope you didn't find it hard to look at this place. How uh, can a man have to take my taxi to this place? Okay. <laughs> oh, so how 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 is everybody? Did you bring us some you know, home stuff? <laughs> oh my darling, you have cooked another temptation. Mm. If I don't if I'm not careful. I'm going to overfeed myself once again. Just the way you overfeed yourself each time I cook with chicken. <laughs> Does it mean that you people eat chicken in this house every time? <laughs> oh, Mama. No, Mama, no. Oh, you're very funny. It, 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 it's, it's just once in a while, you know. Like Sundays and special days. Like today, today is special, so that's why we're eating chicken. Mama, see, my husband doesn't like traveling on Sundays. Because he doesn't like missing any of this. Especially chicken. Yeah, chicken. <laughs> As in chicken loves chicken. <laughs> ah, that's a good brand. Yeah. <laughs> chicken loves chicken. chicken. <laughs> Please don't, don't feel insulted. I'm sorry. I mean, it's all right. Come on, will you stop doing that? Come down, let's continue to eat. Don't give him! Don't you have respect? Some girls are trained, and some are not. Oh, no, it's all right. Let's continue. Chicken. Yes, Mama. Did Amarachi bring any man to this house? Oh, yes. She was here some time ago with a young man. Uh, his name is Austin. She says the man intends to marry her. From your own assessment, mm. Do you think that the man is real? Real? How do you mean real? Does he look like a deceiver? Oh, well, Mama, no one can tell a deceiver at first sight. Nobody can. It's only time that will tell. What do you mean by that? Well, that young man appears to me a perfect gentleman, and I believe that He'll be able to take proper care of Amarachi. That's my own personal assessment of him, though. You see, why I am making all these inquiries is that I wouldn't want my daughter to go to any man's house and suffer. Amarachi is so soft-hearted that she will not be able to survive in a family where molestation is their tradition. Well, uh... Hello? Oh, come. Oh. Is there any? Mm -hmm. So. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not train you. Can't you train yourself? Eh? Because you're not poor. I'm sorry, Mama. Sorry for yourself. I don't like this nonsense. Oh. 
Mama. Stop it. I don't like it. Mama, Mama, Mama. I don't like this nonsense. Mama, Mama. Please. Please. I don't like what you're doing. Why must you shout at my wife like that? To make her feel uncomfortable each time she sees you? I don't like it. <laughs> Is that what you have in mind? Eh? Okay. Go ahead. You can be carrying her about like a premature baby. Carry her. Sort of teaching her to be tough and exposing her to common sense. You are here, day in, day out, licking mouth. Go ahead. Every time she sees you, her body will be living body, 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 body. It's all right, Mama. It's all right. I don't have time for this kind of argument now. What were you saying? As I was saying, I will not like my daughter Amarachi to go into a house where they bully people. If you say that the man is good, okay, oh, me, I will carry my inquiries further into the village. I think they said uh, the man is from Omochieze. Yeah, Amarachi said so. Yeah, Amarachi said so. That's what she said. Yeah! It appears Amarachi has been going around the whole country making introduction. She naked now. I just hope she's not pregnant too. Ah, <laughs> pregnant. Mama, how can you say that? She was here with a young man. I saw them with my own eyes. She doesn't look pregnant to me. Mm. How many young men can recognize early pregnancy? How many young men? She naked is welcome. Amarachi. Today she's in your house. Tomorrow she's in the village. Everywhere. Making introduction. What's the problem? Nothing. No, 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 no. There must be something and... Come Let's share it together. What's it? Let me just believe we are not on the pathway to shame. Pathway to shame. How do you mean? I mean I'm pregnant. I don't seem to be in a hurry about the traditional marriage. Austin, you defy a lot. I don't like it. No, 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 honey. I merely shifted it to December, not this month again. See, honey, I want it big. I want to save enough money for it so that my friends will come and know that. This I want the part of that arrangement. You want me to come there with protruded abdomen so that the villagers will laugh at our family? Honey, they will say their daughter was heavily pregnant before she got married. That means I was imposed on you because of pregnancy. Honey, think about it. You want it this month, eh? How can we go around and make it traditions? Only to wait till December before the manko. Okay, okay. You want it this month, eh? Hey, that's my baby! <laughs> it's alright. Come on, let's go and I'll have another surprise for you. Wow! Come on! <laughs> that's my hey. baby! Mama, I want to hurry to the mechanics to do something in my car. I'll be right back. Eh, Joy! Wait, I'm coming. Go where? Where now? Just take me round Enugu. I want to go and see Enugu. Since I came and have been in this house, I haven't gone out. Take me round. Drive me round about Enugu. Mama, see. I have already booked an appointment with the mechanic that is going to work on this car. So even as I am talking to you right now, he is waiting for me. So please let me just hurry. Oh? Be a baby, baby, Don't insult me. Eh? Ordinary take me round Enugu. You are talking too much. Take me to the zoo. Take me to... Uh, uh, Polo Park. Take me to Presidential Hotel. Take me to the field where dangerous people play football. Just take me to anywhere people gather to. Just for sightseeing. I'm okay. Take me out. Mama, please. Please, Mama. 
Already, this car is not in a good shape. And I cannot drive it to any far distance. Ah, let me just go and walk on this car now. Eh? Okay. See, Sunday evening. Eh? I promise you, I will drive you around the whole of any, anywhere you want to go. Just tell me. Eh? Sunday evening. But please, not today. Please. Yeah. Eh? If you know what is good for you, just enter this car and let us move. Ah. Oh, Daddy, take me round the room. We are talking too much. Let us go. This temptation is becoming too much for me. Oh. It is becoming too much for me in this house. Yeah, Joy! Joy, come back here! Joy! Come back here! Joy, come back! Come back here! Look at my hair beacon. Huh? So it has reached a point where I can no longer enter my son's car. Wonder shall never end. My son, my, 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 my son's car, my son's house. Okay, you go and come back. Every day you people go out and come in, go out and come. I stay in this house. So, no, 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 no. You will go and come back and meet me here. You must take me out today. Oh dear. Papa, yes. I want to know if there's anything that has not been taken care of. Let me send some people to start putting them together. Well, marriage is what you make out of it. Can either be big or small, depending on the weight of your purse. No, it has to be what it should be. Everybody that comes here that day, we have a story to tell when they get home. Ah, Mama, Austin is not a millionaire. I wouldn't want him to die in the course of trying to marry me. That's right. You wouldn't want him to die? Yet you went around the whole country telling people you are getting married. Now you say you wouldn't want him to die. Oh dear. Mama, don't get me wrong. Austin is equal to the task. We just want a perfect wedding. That's right, too. Amarachi. Yes, Mama. I hope you're not pregnant, too. I hope you're not pregnant, Amarachi. Everything is ready, my sister. Mm -hmm. In fact, we even prepared another pot of fries after you left. Mm -hmm. My husband also ordered for more and wine. Hey! Today is today. <laughs> Uba, Uba. <laughs> Uba, Uba. <laughs> hey, Ugochi. My dear, today, eh, we will chase the women that are coming. We know that we are not the same match with them. I trust you, my women. Oh, good, no. They are going to perform. Oh, good, no. This time. I hope they don't mistake you for the mother of the bride, though. Because at least today, that is my position. You should not be not you. Don't be not to get you. Nobody will do that. Ah, they better not. Please, where is Amarachi, my daughter? Where is she? She's dressing up with me. With the young girls. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Let me help you. No. This one that everyone will send to me. Who got you? Who got you? Who got you? Who got you? in my life. Yeah, yeah. Just like anybody else will feel. My daughter is going into marriage. Yes, yes, yes. But we start wasting your time because there's enough to drink, enough to eat, and enough to dance to. I will ask my most beautiful wife to go and bring out my lovely daughter. <laughs> Music! <laughs>
You say you have found a man you will live with for, forever. Take this one to show us that young man. <laughs> Let her finish with this one. Then let me Please excuse me.
What do we call this one now? Eh? What is the meaning of all this? What is it? This thing she's doing. Am I not the one that is supposed to be doing it? How many times have you done it before since you know it is your responsibility? Daddy, tell her to drop that nail cutter. Tell her to drop that nail cutter before I lose my temper. If you like, you lose your head. If I see you there, I will show you that I still have some reserve of strength left in me. Wrap my camera, my friend. Yes. Good boy. Yes. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, chicken. Uh -huh. Chicken. Yeah. Chicken. Uh -huh. Yes, mama. Yes. Go and warn your wife. Tell her to leave my husband for me. Let's go! Chicken! She cannot snatch your attention from me and that of your father as well. Is that the problem? Yes. Go and see how she's playing with my husband's toes. Chicken! Mama, how do you mean playing with the past toes? Go answer the this for yourself and stop spraying me with questions. Okay. Okay. Oh, go on. Okay, go and call her for me. Give him the call. Mm-hmm. Yes, get. Uh, good, uh, my boy. Yes, give him. Uh -huh. You are dribbling too much. Oh. <laughs> Wife of one. Eh? We are managing. <laughs> This one you were dragging your feet on the ground. Me? Do you have fever or what? I am well. Can see? Okay. No. Let me get you. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey. Sit down, my sister. Hey. Sit down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got you, got you. Hey. Hey. My dear, how, uh, how is your daughter, Amarachi? Has she gone to the city with her husband? Huh. I wonder what they should be waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said I should come and see how you're faring after the, the all the stress involved in this uh, marriage arrangement. My dear, it was not easy. Hey, told you, but I can't go for you. <laughs> you are so helpful. A friend in need. <laughs> this is what we do for ourselves. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. Who got you? This is what I was complaining to you the other time. Yeah? Do you know that? Joy, my daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. is inside her house sleeping while I am washing clothes. Mm -hmm. You see why I was complaining to you the other day? Go to my sister. You see, these are our daughters-in-law are small girls. We have to teach them what they don't know than rebuking them. How else will you teach them apart from talking to them? How else? Huh? Can you see that while I am here, busy here washing, she is busy taking siesta. Siesta? Eh, uh, siesta. When a woman wants to pretend and sleep, she will call it siesta. Yeah, but easy. Ugochi, take it easy with her. You see, these are our young wives. They do not undergo the kind training we all went. You see, some of them are born in the cities where, where everything is done by electricity. Cooking, washing, as you are doing now, even scrubbing and eating, feeding them even. Oh, Jenny. Hmm? You don't have the type of daughter-in-law I have. Maybe your own is the good type. My sister, it depends on what you mean by good types. May God not give you my kind of daughter-in-law. Ha! Huh? If you wake up and see her in the morning, you will vomit. Do you hate her all that? I haven't said I hate her. But that is exactly what you mean. Eh? And that is the truth in it. No, I don't hate anybody. In fact, I cannot hate anybody. But let her stop behaving like a, a yam tendril that is about to break any moment. She's too fragile for my liking. Then give her that approach of the yam tendril she calls for. You will enjoy it. Well, what will I do? I'm doing my best. Please. I'm, I'm doing my best. Huh? You will laugh at last. Who got you? <laughs> <laughs>
Nem, let me take you inside and show you what my in-laws do. Oh, yeah, can't do it. 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 What is happening here? Why are you crying? What happened, my dear? Can you give me just one reason? One reason why your mother hates me so much? Is that why you are crying? I try all I can to avoid being called a stubborn daughter-in-law. But each time I keep running away, I try to avoid her like a sharp object. She keeps pursuing me with her attack. Tell me, what have I done? What, what have I done? It's all right, my dear. Okay? Dry your eyes. But then, was there another problem before we left the village? I overheard her saying some nasty things about me to her friend. God. But after we left the village, I've been wondering, wondering what I did to this woman. It's okay, my darling. Don't take it to heart. Just try and tolerate her as much as possible. I mean, she's my mother. There's nothing I can do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Next time you want to go to that village, you will go alone. I will not come with you. I will not be pleased to lose my baby under any kind of tension or provocation. Hold, hold on. Lose what? Did you say baby? Has it happened? I have not seen my flu since last month. All my calculations tell I am pregnant. Listen, my dear, this one is not just your calculations telling you that you're pregnant. First thing tomorrow, we'll go to our doctor to run some tests, and I believe it's going to be positive. I know you are pregnant. Come on, and you're here crying. Oh, my God. Look at you. Try your tears. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Honestly, if I had known you cooked this well, I would have married you last year. <laughs> Don't flatter me. I mean it. You do. Does it mean I've not cooked this kind of meal for you before? Well, I think this is special. <laughs> you can say it again. Um, that reminds me. My mother will be coming here next week. That would be great. Did she send any message across? Yes, she did. <laughs> She's welcome any day, any time. Are you playing with the food? I am waiting for you to <laughs> announce the end of the game. So if I didn't drop the school, you won't? Yes, I won't. Till I hear the end of the match. The end of a match. <laughs> oh, my baby is too funny. Oh, my God. 
When she's busy touring the whole country, visiting one son or daughter after another. <laughs> you know what, honey? Four of my sisters decided to put to bed at the same time. My two elder brothers, their wife took the following week to lay down their own babies. So why wouldn't she look fresh when she has successfully attended six Omugos in less than eight months? <laughs> Mama, mm. you know what? It won't be long and you will attend just one more Amogo. What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> you <tried> to <laughs> no, Amogo. You're welcome. Thank Come, you. let me show you to your room. Oh, <laughs> Mama, sorry. Huh. Did I just hear you say, hey? How come there is stone in this rice? I don't know. It's foreign rice. <laughs> hey. Come on, shut up your mouth. I don't know. It's foreign rice. You mean people don't pick stones in foreign rice anymore before cooking? Eh? Huh? Austin, so this is what you have been eating in this house? Stones! No, Mama. It's not what you think. It's not like that. Please. Austin, stop defending her. I hate it when you have to defend her. In fact, you people should carry your food and eat. I am no longer eating. Nonsense. How can I be eating stones in this house? Honey, I'm sorry. Please, I don't know how stone entered the rice. It's foreign. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. I'll talk to her. Amara, what are you doing here? Austin, haven't you taught her how to scrub the floors and wash clothes on Saturday? Eh? Mama, this is our matrimonial home. She can always wash and scrub at her own pace. Okay. I can see that you are the one who is giving her the opportunity to misbehave. Eh? Okay. Follow me. Mama, please, leave her alone. Eh? I don't like this. I don't like it. What don't you like? Mama, please leave us alone. Please. Chineke Mo. Austin, you've done what your brothers have never done before. You order me out of your sitting room. Mama, please leave. Okay, Austin, I will leave. If you like, let this whole house be upside down. Let it be untidy. I don't care. I was only just trying to help. You shouldn't have shouted at her like that. Come on, honey. Please don't tell me this. I know my mother very well. Hmm? This is how she goes to my elder brother's houses to control their wives. She will not try that with me. I am very different. Very different. Unye wam chere nanga mwe agagi ma unanga dindu wepewere chim Mama good evening Unye wam chere nanga mwe agagi ma unanga dindu wepewere chim Mama good evening now Munye wam chere nanga muhe agagi ma munanga dindu wesewere Who 
took my slippers? Who took my slippers in this house? Who do I share my slippers with in this house? Mama. Who took my slippers? Why are you shouting? What's the problem? See the slippers that I kept here when I came back from Sebastian's house. I don't know who took it. And I'm going back to the house now. Who took it? Who must have taken it? Who took my slippers? Ah! Uh -uh. Why did you take my slippers? Mama. Come on, remove your dirty, filthy legs from my slippers. You don't have manners. You don't have respect. Mama. Next time you try it, I will show you. Useless man, let's go. You don't have respect for your students. Idiot. Sorry, Mama. Mama, I'm sorry. sorry. For I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you seen your friend off? Yes, yeah, she has gone. A mother-in-law should be a blessing and not a threat. She should repair and not destroy, but to keep the family together and not tear it apart. Mama, your food is ready. Come and eat. Mama, your food is ready. Please come and eat. Mama, please forgive me, whatever I've done. Forgive me. Leave my legs. Must you touch me before I eat your food? Must you? Get away, get away, get away from here. Useless girl, homebreaker. They've sent you here to come and divide my family, but you did not see us. Useless, stupid girl. Get out of my sight! So, Papa, that is how she keeps tackling me onto this last one that she slapped me. It is this slapping episode that is trying to remove all the hairs from my head. Ugochi, will you sit down? Will you sit down? Amarachi, yes, does your mother-in-law stay with you in the house? No, Papa. She keeps traveling from one of her children's houses to the other. Though I think she lives in Omuchez. Daddy, do you believe that by this time tomorrow, I'm in Austin's house to see his mother? If she talks rubbish, I will show her the other side of me. Will you keep quiet, woman? That's not the only way to solve this problem. That is the only way to solve it all. That is the only way. Nobody has the right to molest my daughter in her matrimonial home. Nobody. Amarachi. Yes, Papa. Get ready to go back tomorrow. When you get there, tell your husband I want to see him. Yes, Papa. This is not a question of yes, Papa. This is not a question of yes, Papa. I must go with you. Let me go and see your mother-in-law and find out if her own madness is the wild type. You will go nowhere, woman. Try to stop me when I move. I will stop you. Amarachi, go and get ready. Mama. I will not stay and watch my fellow woman turn my daughter into a punching bag. The heavens reject that. Will you stop this madness? I will not stop. Until I see her. Let me go and get ready. It's okay. Hmm? Just calm down. Everything will be sorted out. Huh? I will talk to my mother and uh, she will understand. Huh? It's okay. Oh, Austin. So your wife went and brought her mother to come and fight me in my son's house. Mama, hey! It's okay. Hey! It's okay. Let us let's settle this amicably. Uh, Austin, tell your mother that I'm still waiting for her to answer my question. She has to answer my question now. Ugochi, I don't have your time. I don't have your time, Ugochi. It's either she tells me why she has turned my daughter into a punch bag, or I will pick her now and leave here. You know I can do it. Hey, what are you waiting for? Pick her and go. Who needs her? No, Mama. You stop again. Don't let me lose my temper now. I did not even know that my wife was trapped. You see, I was not at home when it happened. But we were at home when the other ones were happening. But tell your mother I'm still waiting for her to answer my question. Or she will give me my own slap here and now. <laughs> Ugochi, don't tell me. Don't tell me because I'll give you a point as well. Please take your mommy away so I can speak to my mommy. Were you not the person that invited your mom without waiting for me to come back from work? If you wear her shoes, you would have gone double what she did. You would have been able to protect your ancestors. And you have to leave me alone. Leave. Come. Come and 
Pack your things. Let us stay and marry his mother. Go ahead and marry your mother. Eh? Hey! Ugochi, you have made enough action. Now I am ready for you. Don't let me marry me. Let me show this one. You can't do it. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come since you have refused to come with me. Don't come to report to us that they slapped you again, no? Yes, Mama. I will take care of everything. It will not happen again. Huh? Please, take this money for your transport. Since you don't want me to drop you at the park in my car. Keep your money. Use it to send your mother back to the village. Let her stop fermenting trouble here. Next time I come here, she will not like what she will see. Oh. Mama, it hasn't gotten to that now. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mama. A mother-in-law should be a blessing and not a threat she should repair and not destroy but to keep the family together and not tear it apart. A mother-in-law should be a blessing and not a threat she should repair and not destroy but to keep the family together and not tear it apart. A mother-in-law should be a blessing, and not a threat. She should repair and not destroy, but to keep the family together and not tear it apart. Mama, get ready to go. There's enough heat already in this house. What type of heat? The one you've been supplying us since you came. We want it no more. Austin, is this a stylish way of sending me, your mother, out of your house? Come, you said something like this the other day. I forgave you. Have you come again, Austin? Mama, I hope I did not speak like one joking. Get ready to go. I've heard enough. You are a joker. You want to send me, your mother, out of your house because of that mannerless idiot. You are a joker. Who even wants to stay in this house with her? Who wants to stay here with her? I will go. I will go. Often I will go. Useless people. Who is it? Let me get it. I'm coming. Hey, Mama. Oh, Mama, you're welcome. Come Mama? Austin, no, your brother-in-law. Austin? His mother wants to kill Amarachi for me. How? I mean, how come? His mother has packed permanently into Austin's house. And she has turned Amarachi into a punch bag. Every day, she eats her fill and pounces on Amarachi. Giddy, 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 giddy. Huh. The last encounter was when Amarachi put food on the table and told her to come and eat. She just got up and slapped her. <laughs> Mama, just like that? Just like that, too. Just like that. Mama, she came to the village to tell us. And I decided to come with her to see things for myself. Do you know that this woman fought me there? She fought you? Hey, she fought me. Oh, 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 oh. So she's the one that did this to you? <laughs> she, what kind of a woman is that? I don't know. And couldn't Austin have done anything to cover her excesses? The poor boy has been trying to. The boy has been trying. He even picked quarrels with her 
from time to time. My mom, it's okay. I'm sorry about all this. She's serious. Okay, I'm really, really sorry. Mama, you know, maybe you shouldn't have, you know, fought her. Fought her? Mm. Did I fight her? She fought me. I didn't fight her. How can I fight her? She fought me. It's all right, Mama. Um, Joy, please take her in. Let her freshen up. And uh, do something about this leg. Maybe you should boil some water. Then use um, towel and then press it for her. Give some massage. Mama, oh, come on. Let's go. It's I'm on our chasing soup. It's all right. We'll talk one. some more about I'm it. I'm I must get gently. Nothing will happen to her. There is nothing like a perfect marriage. Hmm? A marriage is like a parcel. If you open it and discover a millipede, then you rejoice because a millipede is harmless. But if you open it and discover a snake, <laughs> you have to learn to bear with it too because. Um, Snakes are dangerous. Mama, God forbid. God forbid. I don't want either a snake or a millipede. Then, what is your problem? Why do you keep rejecting suitors that ask your hand in marriage? Why? You complain that a menike, who is a taxi driver, that is um, unattractive. Eh? You rejected Adesa's son. Who has a big pharmacist shop in Port Harcourt? You said um, uh, uh, that uh, uh, he is too short. Eh? Okay, look at Okechu. Who is a big time car dealer in Abuja? Abuja. You said um, he is a ritualist. Adan, what is your problem? Mama. It is not as if I'm bearing grudges against any of these men. It's just that I detest their families. Why? Why do you detest their family? I have sworn never to get married to any man whose mother is still alive. Jesus Christ! You are a devil, my girl. I am not. What has put this thought into your mind? Eh? What? Mama, most of my mates are married. But their marriages are nothing to write home about. Oh, okay. From where did you get this information? From where? Their mother-in-laws have sworn never to allow them to enjoy their marriages with their husbands. They are miserable. You need to listen to their stories. And you pity them, Mama. And I know you love me so much that you wouldn't wish me that. It is not true. It is not true. Not all mothers-in-law are bad. Not all. But Mama, majority are wicked. Uh, but I want you to get married. Mm -hmm. eh? So that I will carry a grandchild. Eh? I want <laughs> a grandchild. Mama, mm -hmm. is that your problem? Please. That is the only problem you have. It means you don't have any problem. Don't to worry. Don't mm -hmm. worry. I'll get married for you, okay? I'll get married for you. Hey, Please, Ma Ma Mama, don't worry, eh? Mama, how is your leg healing now? I suppose it's no longer as painful as before. Uh, well, I feel better. In fact, Joy did a very good massage. The swelling and the pains are almost over. That is good. That is good. Thank God. Very soon, you will be completely healed. Thank you very much, my son. Yes. Mama, what was your feeling when you learned that Amarachi's mother-in-law was maltreating her? Honestly, I felt so bad. I nearly couldn't bear it. That is exactly how my wife and her mother 
I've been feeling ever since I married her. I'm sure you know what I'm driving at. Maybe God allowed this to happen in Amarachi's own marriage so that we learn our lesson. Maybe. If you know that which you don't want other people to do to you or people close to you, don't do it to other people. Anyway, I'll still send for Austin and Amarachi so that we can talk. We must talk. Thank you, my son. Please do that as quickly as possible, Biko. Yeah. 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 Uh, what we are doing here today is the village version of uh, that is naming ceremony. My son Felix and his wife have done the township version and it is a must that we have to do our own here. Uh, and so I thank everybody that has taken out time to come here this afternoon. I thank you all for coming to say welcome to the world to my first grandchild. <laughs> uh, our people say that Maduki uh, be a I am proud of all of you. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, let them bring our uh, grandchild. Bring him. See, at a point, I almost lost hope of seeing my grandchild before joining my ancestors. Yeah. <laughs> Felix, my son, you're a man. Yeah. <laughs> you and your wife have given me my grandchild. And because I am alive to witness the birth of this baby, I call him Akujobi. For God has provided a comforter for me in old age. I give him glory. I love you, baby. Thank you very much. We are very happy. Because I know that uh, it is the desire of all of you here for us to have a bouncing baby boy like this. Yay. I, I name him 
Obiora. with keen interest to what has been happening in your family. But then it surprises me that my sister never thought it necessary to inform me about the development until it degenerated into slaps and pushes. One thing is obvious here. You have failed in your responsibility as a man of the house. But then, it's neither here nor there. I mean, we're here for peace. Um, thank you, my in-law. You see, you may never know what it feels like having a mother who hates your wife for no just reason. I don't know why mothers like to show supremacy over their daughters-in-law. My mother's own is worse. It's not as if I've not tried to put on that check. Ask your sister. I think we are here for peace and not to apportion any blames on anybody. Yes, in as much as we are here for peace. I want to point out that the days are long gone when mothers-in-law treated their daughters-in-law with disdain and disrespect and levity, denigration. I also want you to realize that any daughter-in-law today is a potential mother-in-law tomorrow. And in the course of any conflict between the two, the men bear the brunt. My mother here and my wife here are both women, and therefore they must work hard for the success of any marriage and the betterment of the family. I hope we all understand what I'm saying, especially you, Mama. I hope you know what I'm talking about. After what my daughter has gone through, I have come to realize the pains of maltreatment from a mother-in-law. Join my daughter. Please forgive me all I did to you. I am very sorry. Mama, you mean you've been treating joy the same way my mother treated your daughter? Austin, even worse. Please, all of you should forgive us. You go. Austin, I will see your mother in the village for a talk. Please let her be peace. Come on, son. Samara, she just entered inside. You didn't see her. Hey, Amara, <laughs> who got you? I was in the kitchen. I didn't see you. Who says a thing of beauty is not a joy forever? <laughs> you are very correct, my sister. You can say that again. You are very correct, Amalecha. Look at what I almost destroyed by being selfish and wicked. Eh? If whenever I remember how I treated Amara, your daughter, I feel like crying. Hmm? God, please forgive me. Omalecha, when I remember how I was treating my daughter-in-law, Joy, 
I feel like committing suicide. What have those students done to us that we should be so naughty to them? Gooch, my dear, I don't know. I don't know. Come to think of it, why are most mother in laws wicked? I don't know. I don't know. Eh? Look at the union between your daughter and my son. Look at it. See how it is blows on me. My daughter in law, Amarachi, <laughs> is nursing an early pregnancy. Amalisha, did I hear you well? Yes, you heard me well. <laughs> we will soon be grandmothers. Hi. Hi. Ah. Oh. Ah! Ugochi! Ugochi! I gave you a good news and you are falling. What is wrong with you? Ugochi, get up! Get up! Uh, what is wrong now? <laughs> you won't cease to amaze me. Ugochi, what is wrong? Why are you falling? What? Austin! Austin, hold oh on! Mama! Why no? Ugochi, what is wrong now? What is wrong with you? Mama, what happened? What is Mama. wrong? The news I gave her is overwhelming. Ugochi! <laughs> she found Mama, me how can she be overwhelmed when her pregnant daughter is uh, hungry? Ah, who's hungry? No, Amarachi is hungry. Amarachi is hungry. Amarachi? Yes! Amarachi, Mama. <laughs> No, let me find out for you. I told her, I told her that your wife is Please, Mama, no. Oh, you don't want to I did. <laughs>